Jesus do I guess that everybody else is thinking about you too All around the world what they talk about is you Nicole Mason Show, a show where we feature phenomenal women who are using their gifts, talents, and skills to impact the world. This is a show where we motivate, where we inspire, and where we inform. And like I say every week, today is like no other. Uh, Because every day on the Nicole Mason Show is a new day. It's a new experience and it's a new encounter. And today I am so excited to have with me my sister and my dear friend. 
friend, Dr. Vicki Johnson. And for those of you who do not know, let me tell you a little bit about my dear sister. She is a visionary. She's a speaker. She's an author. She's a coach. She's an Emmy Award winner. Listen, she is a bad sister. She is the founder of Girl, uh, Girl Talk Getaway Unplugged. I probably said that wrong. She'll tell me in a minute. GTU, I know that. Uh, she's the founder of Sacred Sister Leader Network. I don't know if I got that right either, but I know I'm in the house. Sacred Sister Leaders, all of y'all say woohoo! Uh, and so today I am so excited uh, to have her joining me. We have so much to talk about. I uh, want to talk about sacred sisterhood, talk about all the great things that are going on with her, her re-release of her book, Addicted to Love, Counterfeit Love, all of that. She's going to tell y'all all the right stuff. Listen, we are so excited to be in the house together once again. Uh, and this is going to be just like we when we are together hanging out. We just love to talk, love to talk about how we can impact the lives of women and how we can make impact. So I am so excited to uh, have you with me. Come on, move around, sister. Okay. Yeah, so everybody can see your pretty face. Dr. Vicki Hello. Johnson, hey! Hi, everyone. Hello, Nicole. And hey, thank you sister. for the opportunity to be on the Nicole Mason Show. All I right. am so excited to be here to just kind of dialogue with you mm -hmm. and engage your viewers. I'm so proud of you thank and you. your show. Thank you. I just think it's phenomenal. Thank and right you. on time. Yes. So, You're so awesome. Good afternoon, sister. <laughs> hey, sister. So listen, so let's get started. So now, some people may not know about your most recent um, accomplishment of your honorary doctorate for all of the wonderful work that you have done mm -hmm. uh, in the community, in the lives of women. So tell us a little bit about this awesome accomplishment. And you know uh, you know how I felt about that. Yes. I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't know about this until after the fact, what was going Ooh. on? So I was so excited and so proud of you. Thank you. Um, when I saw that and uh, we had a chance to talk, uh, dialogue about it behind the scenes. So tell, tell everybody about this major accomplishment. Oh, sure. We're going to dive right in there. Yes. So in <laughs> December of 2014, I was blessed to receive an honorary doctorate of divinity mm -hmm. for the work that I've been doing with women in ministry now almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I received the honorary doctorate of divinity from Saika University and Seminary, which is the Canadian International Chaplaincy Academy. Mm -hmm. What's so awesome about it is not only the recognition of the work that I've been doing over the almost 20 years, but that I also received a chaplaincy, which I'm really excited mm -hmm. about because it now authorizes me and legitimizes me, if you will, to really take faith-based support into the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to that. And it showed up right on time because mm -hmm. I am now in, in transition mm -hmm. from living a life daily in corporate America to mm -hmm. now being full time in the marketplace, doing all of the things mm -hmm. that um, I'm so passionate about and blessed to do. Mm -hmm. So the honorary doctorate of divinity is just a great way to kick off 2015 mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all of the things of this next level that God has for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited. Listen, I, we have some photos we have to share with you all. Let's let's step back okay. because last year um, we were able to come together in Florida together and um, for your launch of your Sacred Sister Leader Network. Yes. Did I get it right? That's sister? right. <laughs> uh, and so, listen, for y'all, for those of you who know me, y'all know that, you know, I'm just trying to get on board with the computer literacy. So I was hashtagging. S S N L. And so they were laughing at me like, no, Nicole, S S L N. Okay, listen, Sacred Sister Leader Network. Mm -hmm. So listen, we have a couple of pictures that we want to share with you all. I think we're able to pull those up. And so, yes, there we are. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yes. And of course, y'all see us. There's Vicky in the center, and I'm right behind her with of my course. red hair, like, hey, pal. <laughs> 
uh, and all of these phenomenal women who came together uh, at the call of our dear sister, our visionary, to launch this powerful network. And listen, if you aren't a part of our network, you need to reach out. Uh, Vicki is on all social media platforms, and you can connect with her if you want to become a part of this awesome uh, network. Uh, she gave a powerful word. There were other women that she had there who, uh, and there, there I am saying something. I don't know what it is. I know it's something powerful. Hey! <laughs> yes. Uh, and so we are just having an awesome time. Now, you all can go to her page, Elder Vicki Johnson or Vicki Johnson on Facebook, and you can see the pages. There's me and my baby, LaQuisha. Yes, hey, girl. Hi, LaQuisha. I'm yes. Out there. Uh, and we're writing, <laughs> talking about our goals and connecting mm -hmm. with other women. It was a powerful networking experience. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a few more. Oh, there's me and my girl, Jay. Hey, Hi, Jay. Jay. I'm sure she's yes. out there as Hi. well. Uh, and so we just, and there's my other sissy. Hi, Anika. Assistant Pastor Anika Wilson Brown. Hey, girl. So we just had an awesome time, me and my sister. Yeah, definitely. And um, and so talk about that. Sure. Let me let me launch that piece from uh, Sacred Sisterhood, which mm -hmm. we talk about, which is really important to me. Um, from a little girl, mm -hmm. you know, I understood the power of women coming together, mm -hmm. women working together, women celebrating one another. And contrary to popular belief and what many would have us to believe mm -hmm. based on what we see on television, women do get along. Absolutely. We can work together. We can support and mm -hmm. celebrate one another. Mm -hmm. So the Sacred Sister Leader Network brunch, mm -hmm. which the pictures we just shared, was birthed out of the Girl Talk Unplugged Sacred Sisterhood community. Mm -hmm. And the vision for the brunch was to bring together women leaders mm -hmm. and women emerging leaders. So mm -hmm. that's the group that attended that brunch at my favorite place, yes, which is beautiful. the beach yes. down in South Florida. And it was amazing when I had that and just the energy that was mm -hmm. in the space was really wonderful. And again, it is just to create a paradigm. It's not the only paradigm, mm -hmm. but just to create a space for my tribe, the tribe you mm -hmm. know, who's attracted mm -hmm. to the work that I do around Sacred Sisterhood, to bring us together, mm -hmm. to support each other, to build relationships, to collaborate, to connect, mm -hmm. to communicate, mm -hmm. whatever in that space of uh, sacred sisterhood. And so as Nicole shared, you can connect with us. I am at Elder Vicki Johnson, V-I-K-K-I, Elder Vicki Johnson mm -hmm. on Facebook, or you can just go to my site, vickijohnson.com mm -hmm. and connect to all of my media mm -hmm. right there. It's V-I-K-K-I Johnson, vickijohnson.com. But sacred sisterhood is a powerful thing because mm -hmm. when women come together, when we connect, mm -hmm. Um, naturally out of that connection comes a sense of collaboration. Mm -hmm. And from that collaboration, we build and expand and grow our communities mm -hmm. collectively and individually. And that's why I'm so excited, mm -hmm. you know, to be here on the Nicole Mason show. And even the ladies that you just showed, I'm so proud mm -hmm. of the women who are connected mm -hmm. to me. And it is my goal, my mission to lead by example. Absolutely. Um, to really empower women and girls to be great in the mirror first mm -hmm. and then in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And one of the tenets that I live by in Sacred Sisterhood is that we don't have to compete with one another. Absolutely. That um, there are so many women on the planet mm -hmm. who desire connection and collaboration and community um, that it, each of us who have that gift of leadership mm -hmm exercise that gift and create space where we attract women. Mm -hmm. If each of us do that, not just the women in the sacred sister right. leadership network, sacred sister leader network, or in GTU girl talk unplugged. But if every woman who is a leader mm -hmm. or an emerging leader releases her gift and attracts women who are drawn to her light, mm -hmm. Nicole, mm -hmm. there will still be women who are untouched. Absolutely. And because of that, we do not have to compete with one another. Mm -hmm. And so I can look at you, see your light. You mm -hmm. can look at me, mm -hmm. see my light. And when we bring that light together, when we bring our lights together, 
it shines brighter and mm-hmm. more women are touched. And so that's what Sacred Sisterhood is about for me, very genuinely, very authentically. Yes. And it's a work I'm very blessed and humbled and honored mm-hmm. to be able to do. And yeah, and you should be. You are a great <laughs> connector of women. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I too uh, can trace my passion uh, and purpose back uh, to my childhood as it relates to sisterhood because I watched my grandmother and her circle of friends, you know, help each other. Uh, go get an egg from Miss Samuels. Yep. Go get a stick of butter from Miss Burger, you know. Yep. And so uh, watching them, and if one of them ate, all of them ate. If my grandmother baked sweet potato pies, you could rest assured she was taking pies to her girlfriend. Absolutely. Uh, and so I watched that. And so if for me, it was just a natural progression to do likewise because I saw the power in it. Uh, My grandmother, of course, she and my grandfather migrated to Washington, D.C. from Saluda, South Carolina to start a business. My grandfather died on the Amtrak train because he was black and they wouldn't service him. And she took that business and she rose to the occasion. Wow, awesome. Not only did she rise to the occasion, but there were other women who supported her. Um, And so I know the power of sacred sisterhood. And I was so blessed to be a part of your TED Talk um, (laughs) that you did on sacred sisterhood. That was a powerful night. And, of course, you had my favorite color, red. (laughs) Yes. And that was so powerful yeah. that night. Talk about that experience. Yeah. You know, because first of all, we knew we were coming. Uh, Angela, Reverend Dr. Angelia Rogana, hey, Esquire. Andy. Hey. <laughs> we knew we were coming. And when we get there, we're like, okay, is Vicky speaking? And we were so excited. And you know you heard me when they called it. It was like, woohoo, yes. Yeah. So talk about that experience. Oh, my goodness. That was a moment that definitely was a pivotal moment ted talks are Mm -hmm. really uh powerful universally so when you're invited to do a ted talk i did tedx women balk drive Mm -hmm. women um thanks to vanessa maddox Mm -hmm. and the girlfriend group Mm -hmm. um so blessed to be a part of that particular ted talk but when you do a ted talk ted talks are um thought leaders Mm -hmm. who come together who Mm -hmm. have a platform for about 18 minutes just to share their bright idea Mm -hmm. and my idea uh, was around sacred sisterhood and being able to talk about the power of sacred sisterhood Mm -hmm. and the value Mm -hmm. of relationships among women and I'm just one of many messengers I'm just blessed to stay in my lane and to model Mm -hmm. relationship among women. I started my very first girls club and I shared this in my Ted talk when I was 10 years old, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was called the Clover Zodiac (laughs) girls club. And it was a group of girls from my neighborhood Mm -hmm. and my cousins. My grandmother too was an advocate for women. She was at the time the national president of the national association of colored women's clubs. Wow. And they had girls clubs all around the country and they would bring us together. Wow. So the Clover Zodiacs was that first experience Mm -hmm. for me with sisterhood. I am still, and I'm just so, this fills me up every time I say it, still very close to my very first best friend. Mm -hmm. She was two and I was three. Mm -hmm. Our parents brought us together. We're still very close Mm -hmm. today, Mm -hmm. almost 48 years later. Um, Then I was a Girl Scout. You know, everything Mm -hmm. I did, I was surrounded by women. Mm -hmm. And in that context, just thrived, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. flourished, whether it was me and my basketball team. I Mm -hmm. played sports in high school, and we won our state championship three out of the four years that I was Mm -hmm. in high school, Mm -hmm. came to Howard University Mm -hmm. here in D.C. You You know, (laughs) Um, you know, on a basketball scholarship, Mm -hmm. playing with women again, um, pledge Delta Sigma Theta, you know, sorority just returned from my 30th <clears throat> anniversary weekend in Florida mm-hmm. with uh, 15 of my 34 line sisters. I mean, it. so sisterhood follows me. I'm mm-hmm. the associate pastor of women at my church. Mm-hmm. I've been doing that for 16 years. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a gift mm-hmm. and it is an honor and it is a privilege to be able to model sisterhood. Mm-hmm. I mean, I cannot say enough you know, how committed I am to modeling Mm -hmm. supportive relationships 
among women. And it's not a popular message. Right. It's growing. It's not popular because it it involves addressing mindsets. Mm -hmm. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I got free really when I received the wisdom that, Vicki, you're not responsible for the results. Mm -hmm. Just Mm -hmm. plant the seeds. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, what I want to share. Whatever your gift is, you're Mm -hmm. not responsible for the results. Mm -hmm. You're only called to plant the seeds of the gift that you have. And God gives the increase Mm -hmm. and allows it to impact and influence. So I'm planting seeds, working on building Mm -hmm. um, that legacy that can exist long after I'm gone. Mm -hmm. You know, being a trailblazer Mm -hmm. is a lonely path Mm -hmm. it's a lonely journey Mm -hmm. and oftentimes when you're that kind of person Mm -hmm. your impact lives long after you're gone and Mm -hmm. so I'm okay with that Mm -hmm. because I'm not doing it for that Mm -hmm. I'm really committed to blazing this trail because when women understand their power Mm -hmm. individually and collectively Mm -hmm. you know it's like Neo said I'm a movement by myself Mm -hmm. but I'm a force Mm-hmm. when we connect mm-hmm. and that's how i feel about sacred sisterhood and glad about it as they yeah. used to say glad yeah, about I'm it glad about it well it's let me great. tell you sister you um you model it very well thank you um you are a great connector of women mm-hmm. and um some of the relationships that i am fostering now and nurturing now have come through you and come through our coming together um, Dr. Pam Love Manning, whose Love birthday her. is today. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Pam. Dr. Pam. Um, but she's doing some work with me uh, at NOAA. Um, some awesome. other people who I've met, you know, we've we've come together and we're working on some projects. And so um, you're a great connector of women. But one of the things that I know uh, about leading women myself now for about 15 years uh, is you have to show up a certain kind of way. <laughs> And you talk about mindset. Uh, And that's always very interesting because, you know, you get castigated for showing up and you get castigated for not showing up, you know? Uh, And so you just have to know who you are Mm -hmm. and know what you're bringing to the table. Uh, And so I'm so excited to be um, on the list, if you will, amongst other women such as yourself who are doing this great work because it is a great work. You know, my mom always told me, you know, Nicole, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, and it's not what you have on, it's how you show up. And so bringing all of that uh, to working with women, uh, it has been challenging Mm -hmm. on some times and very rewarding all at the same time, you know. So um, talk a little bit about some of the challenges that uh, you faced in doing this work. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, let's, oh, let's breathe. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm chuckling, I'm laughing, because with leadership mm-hmm. comes responsibility. Yes. And accountability. And I was chuckling just trying to think how I'm going to connect all of these pieces, mm-hmm. because you're very intimately acquainted with some of the things I've had to endure. Mm-hmm. I can say for sure that playing sports and being an athlete Mm -hmm. really helped my mindset Mm -hmm. when it comes to, you know, pushing past obstacles and challenges. Mm -hmm. I mean, for years, every now and then I had to play with pain Mm -hmm. um, and play with discomfort. You need to write a book call that but go ahead okay yeah <laughs> play I with like pain that. yeah um and you know work through discomfort mm-hmm. to get to a desired outcome mm-hmm. and for me the benefit and the blessing of sacred sisterhood is more powerful and more important and more treasured to me than the obstacles I've had to overcome mm-hmm. the obstacles really I I, I know that <clears throat> I'm able to deal with them the way that I am mm-hmm. And you've had to help pull me back sometimes mm-hmm. because sometimes, you know, I wanted to take off the leadership hat. Mm-hmm. Like, really? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it, Vicky. I can right. hear you, Vicky. Right. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. Be a bigger person. Um, but that's few and far in between, really. But what I do understand about that is when women feel the need to attack me Mm -hmm. because that's how it feels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I recognize from a spiritually mature place that I am showing up representing something Mm -hmm. that causes them pain. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. the leader in me 
understands that I have to reflect love anyway Mm -hmm. um, and show them a different way. Mm -hmm. And it may not be received at that time. Right. You know, but it's my responsibility. That's one of the responsibilities of leadership. That's why if you're not mature Mm -hmm. and if you don't have love, you know, authority without love has a tendency to create abusive context. Mm. And so, you know, love is a major, major part. That's a show in and of itself. Right there. (laughs) Of leadership. Mm -hmm. And I am more committed to the assignment Mm -hmm. than I am to my ego. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. when I get attacked, it really is my ego that wants to strike back, mm-hmm. but the assignment is more important because I know I'm called to impact tens of thousands of women. Mm-hmm. And that's just more important. Yeah. You know, and yeah. let me also talk about just briefly, mm-hmm. you know, I'm human. I'm not superhuman. Mm-hmm. So, you know, most of the time the attacks, I can just let it roll off my back, mm-hmm. but. Some days I just don't feel like it. Mm-hmm. And I feel a mm-hmm. response raising up. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll call me or, you know, my somebody in my inner circle. And that's the other thing. When you're called to leadership, mm-hmm. it's, it's a blessing to be insulated mm-hmm. by relationships that cover you, that mm-hmm. pray for you, that mm-hmm. support you, that mm-hmm. want to see you win, mm-hmm. and who are also committed to the assignment. So, mm-hmm. you know, we can't do this work alone. Mm-hmm. Again, the power of sisterhood and partnership and, and community. So there are some challenges, but life is full of challenges. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I believe being an athlete has conditioned me for my life's assignment. Mm-hmm. I played sports for almost 15 years mm-hmm. in a very high-level environment. Mm-hmm. So it conditioned me for this part of my life and this work mm-hmm. that I'm doing. So it's like, you know, hey, yeah. tomorrow's a new day. It is what it is. And mm-hmm. I bring that up only because sometimes, you know, people tend to look at how it's presented, and because it's so natural, it it looks easy. Right. But it's not always easy to be the leader. It's not always easy to be the one out front. And I think sometimes this is where I want people to be a little bit more compassionate towards the leaders, you know, and not just suck the life out of us. And then if we don't respond the way you think we should respond on every given day or any given day, Mm -hmm. then you castigate us or chastise us. Uh, And so I think it's important for us to um, show some humanity in, you know, everyday life. We have challenges, too. I had a young woman to say to me one time, um, I spoke to you at church and you didn't see me or you didn't say anything. And I said, are you sure I saw you? I said, was was that a Sunday perhaps that I was going through something myself and needed to be released myself and in an environment where I came to worship God that I didn't have that opportunity to do it? Mm-hmm. And it was like a light bulb went on. Yeah, I, I have issues too. You know, and I always tell folk, honey, 2217 is on and popping. I have three sons and I'm about to kill two of them. <laughs> And the little baby trying to stop me from killing them, okay? So, you know, we have our own set of things going on. Uh, And so I wanted to share that just so that people will understand that this work is not easy. But I love the way that you have uh, framed it, that it is an assignment. And really, it is the assignment and the love for God that keeps you in place, keeps you on task, um, particularly those times when you just want to throw in the towel and say, you know what, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> I, I, I can just go on. For me, because I grew up an only child, I can stay in the house for weeks on end and not talk to another soul. I could read my books, I could do my writing, and I would be okay with the world. But that's not what I was designed to do, and well, that's not the assignment. I also want to just talk about, for a moment, um, filling your cup. 
Mm -hmm. Um, That's a part of sacred sisterhood. And what I like to model for women is radical Mm self-care. It's crucial because Mm -hmm. you cannot give away what you don't have. Mm -hmm. So it's important to fill your cup, Mm -hmm. um, which is why I love the beach. I love the spa. Mm -hmm. I love, you know, being around lots of other women. So often, frequently, and I love to dance. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are my tools. The The beach, (laughs) the spa, and dancing. Yes. And so often when I bring women together, Mm -hmm. Those elements are going to be somewhere. We're Mm going to be near the water, Mm -hmm. ideally the beach. There's going to be a spa Mm -hmm. very close by, like Mm -hmm. steps Mm -hmm. on the property. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have music and we're going to do a lot of dancing. And that's because that's what fills me up. Mm -hmm. Um, So you cannot give away what you don't have. You have to nurture your own soul, which is how Soul Wealth was born. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. just nurturing who you are and filling your tank and being okay with pulling away Mm -hmm. and getting quiet and filling up (laughs) so that you have something to give when you, when you do come back out and you got to be on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, But I've, I've mastered being on and still being myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well, I'm the queen of retreat, honey. I will retreat in a minute. Uh, don't have any qualms about it. Don't call me. Don't look for me. I'm retreating because I learned a long time ago that you will be burned out and people not even know it. Mm -hmm. And I experienced that when my mom suddenly died and, um, I had a dream about her. And, um, what I realized in that dream was that, you know, I was slowly dying around people because the grief was just killing me from the inside out that's the way my words I interpreted Mm -hmm. at that time and no one really knew it you know because it's God was allowing me to make it look a certain way but I was feeling something different but there wasn't anybody around me I shouldn't say anybody the masses of the people weren't in tune you know you always have those few Mm -hmm. who are in tune with you who are close with you but the masses weren't in tune so what I realized was they may not be in tune but I am so I need to do something don't wait for anybody else to take care of you when you have the responsibility to take care of yourself. Absolutely. So shutting down is good sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. we all need to do it. Um, rest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. is it, it comes down to rest so that you have something to give. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you know, we're talking. I used to take a break by now, but this is going so well. And I, <laughs> as I knew it would, we're just flowing. So let's talk about this awesome event you have coming up. And I think oh, we have that. So um, Eric, uh, the book launch um, flyer that we have that. Yes. That's it. Yes. Yep, that's it. Hey. Let me tell you something. Let me just stop right here. You are absolutely beautiful. I love those pictures. <laughs> I love the sight. I mean, and it's Thank just you. popping. I love it. So um, talk about this event that's coming up. We are so excited oh, about yes, this. Definitely. Well, you know, you talk about the imaging and the work. I've been in media for 34 years almost 35 years. So Girl, you look good. You thank you. Good. Thank you so much. Girl Talk Unplugged in my book signing um, Friday, April 3rd at mm-hmm. 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. at the Brookland Art Space is to celebrate the um, and announce officially the re-release of mm-hmm. my third book, which originally was released in 2007 on Harlequin. I was mm-hmm. a Harlequin author. Mm-hmm. And um, Addicted to Counterfeit Love still has a lot of life mm-hmm. left in it. Mm-hmm. And so the re-release is so that we can get that book back out into the marketplace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some things, you know, took place and I was like in a two-year battle a little bit to get my rights rescinded back to me and now I have them. So mm-hmm. in a new publishing agreement mm-hmm. and re-releasing the book and I'm so excited about Addicted to Counterfeit Love because it helped so many people, mm-hmm. men and women actually, mm-hmm. were reading the book. And it's all about love. I like to say real love does exist. Mm -hmm. Real love is possible. And the book really is about counterfeit. How many of us are Mm -hmm. or were at one time, I was, addicted to counterfeit love. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we use what we interpret as love as a drug Mm -hmm. um, 
or something as an escape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the book really just identifies different scenarios Mm -hmm. that women go through and concludes with hope. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, I believe we're all called to give one another hope that Mm -hmm. real love does Mm -hmm. exist, Mm -hmm. is real. Yeah, well, I loved the book when I read it years ago, and (laughs) I was excited. I said, oh, re-release? Yes, can't wait. So we had it on the show a couple of weeks ago announcing it when we first um, received the flyer, the promo. And so I certainly encourage you to get the book. Listen, the book was a blessing several years ago, so I know, and I love that because, you know, now you've had some additional experiences. You have more wisdom to pour into it. Uh, And so... I'm sure that it's going to be phenomenal. I want to encourage you uh, to get to get the book and connect with Dr. Vicky. Listen, listen, this lady is a powerhouse. And this is what I love about you. <laughs> she is a powerhouse. And she's so dollars. calm. She's so <laughs> calm. And y'all know me. I'm like fire, like all over the place. And she's just calm. And, you know, true to her nature and true to my nature, that's why we get along yeah. so well. Uh, and so... I want to um, encourage you to connect with her. Go to her platforms. We're going to take just a short break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about um, more on sacred sisterhood. Um, And we have some other things that we want to talk about as it relates to uh, some of the events that are coming up that you need to be mindful of. If you have not gone to a Girl Talk getaway, GTU getaway, whatever, (laughs) sacred getaway, listen, We're going to talk about the one we were at last year, and you're going to hear all about it. We want to wet your palate for the next one that's coming up because we want to put you on notice that it's coming up soon. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Come on, come on.
the word until it changes. back thank you so much for staying with us and so we want to talk about girl talk unplugged listen last year we had almost 300 women we were mm -hmm. out in the chesapeake whatever where were we cambridge cambridge, cambridge maryland at the, mm -hmm. at the hyatt we had a phenomenal time and one of the amazing things was the food i'm sorry yes the food <laughs> the shrimp and grits was the bob.com and the networking and the connection and the deliverance. I mean, the session with Dr. Melba Green, oh, my God. Only thing I remember about that is say yes. Yeah, say, yeah. Yes. say yes. Say yes to his will. Say yes to his way. Mm -hmm. That was so powerful. Uh, the releasing of the balloons and all of your cares. Writing your, listen, you all need to make it a point to get on Dr. Vicky's email blast. Go to her website and sign up right there on the landing page, the home page. You want to sign up so that you can get all of the information right to your email uh, addresses because it's going to be phenomenal. And we have to give a shout out <laughs> to Sharon Jarrett. She is the Olivia Pope hey, Sharon. of our crew. Okay. <laughs> She puts together some phenomenal uh, uh, presentations. Vicky has the vision. She makes it happen. Absolutely. Uh, so talk a little bit about next year. What, don't, don't give it away, but okay. a few things that we might anticipate. Well, in 2016, definitely, we'll be doing the getaway again. I can tell you where it will be. It's going to be in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, oh we're Florida. going back to Florida. Going back to the beach. Yes. Um, it will be there. Not sure what time of the year, which is why you want to connect uh, mm -hmm. to my email list on my website at vickijohnson.com v-i-k-k-i gotta spell it for you no mm -hmm. c no, yes. no e <laughs> v-i-k-k-i vickijohnson.com join mm -hmm. my mailing list so that you can stay abreast of details regarding the getaway I'm going to do the Sacred Sister Leader Network brunch again mm -hmm. um, decided instead of a membership group that's just going to be an event it's going to okay. be a brunch mm -hmm. like it was mm -hmm. um, and just be kept abreast of all of the wonderful things that I'm doing. And, and I say wonderful because they are wonder filled. Mm -hmm. um, they filled me up mm -hmm. and I know that they will fill the women who are in the community that I've been blessed to build mm -hmm. and looking forward to launching in the next month, the soul wealth Academy, mm -hmm. which is my mentorship program. I get emails inboxes on social media, Nicole, mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Will you mentor me? Right. Um, I want to work with you. And so I'm putting together now it's just about together the soul wealth Academy mm -hmm. where we have different levels and, and, one that I'm really super excited about after almost 35 years in the media and entertainment industry, mm -hmm. um, I have Soul Wealth men VIP mentoring mm -hmm. for women, mm -hmm. and then I have Soul Shifting mm -hmm. spiritual mentorship for celebrities, mm -hmm. executives, and mm -hmm. leaders. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about being 
the marketplace, mm-hmm. faith based support. Mm-hmm. Um, and that goes back to the chaplaincy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and how it all just works together and how it's coming together. So I'm excited mm-hmm. about the Soul Wealth Academy. You mentioned the Girl Talk Unplugged Ultimate Getaway that mm-hmm. Sharon Jarrett, shout out to you, Jarrett hey, Affairs, um, did an amazing job mm-hmm. because I like nice things. Mm-hmm. And so I create experiences, not just events. Mm-hmm. I create experiences um, as if they were for me mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because I want the women to experience the things that I love mm-hmm. to help them um, get to their greatness. And that's important because I, I have come, like you said, I, I definitely do not look like what I've been through mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. abortion to postpartum depression, mm-hmm. divorce, foreclosure, repossession, mm-hmm. you name it, mm-hmm. I've been there. Mm-hmm. And so I serve as a lighthouse, yes. as a model for women of what's possible Mm -hmm. and of what you can have. I know what it is to be broken Mm -hmm. and look at other women who appear to have it together Mm -hmm. and wish that could be me. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. there was a time in my life where I thought the dream was for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And now that I've gotten on the other side of that fear, Mm -hmm. I'm committed to helping other women navigate Mm -hmm. that same journey. And so the getaway, really, Nicole, was a prototype Mm -hmm. of what my ultimate dream is, Mm -hmm. which is to have an oasis for women, Mm -hmm. which is a bed and breakfast type destination Mm -hmm. for women. So Mm -hmm. all of the details from the food to the spa to the water, to you know the five star hotel experience really was a prototype mm-hmm. for the property that I will have mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. for women where they can just get away. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not have a place to go when I needed to be nurtured mm-hmm. and be by myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in a safe and sacred space. And so that's what Oasis for Women is about. So that is the ultimate legacy mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. I am working now on on building and mm-hmm. so the ultimate getaway the sacred sister leader network brunch you know the soul wealth academy my books the speaking all of it mm-hmm. you know is about showing women what's possible mm-hmm. and, and giving them hope no matter who you are yes or where you've come from well there you have heard it <laughs> and i knew we would run out of time when that we're together we have to block like several hours when we get together <laughs> Listen, you all want to connect with Dr. Vicky. Mm-hmm. V- Vicky, V I K K I Johnson.com. Yep. The website is beautiful. So shout out to um, Veronica Very. Very uh, virtual. Very virtual. Dot com. Yes, definitely. who created that website. It is absolutely beautiful. And I want you to go to the website, sign up. Um, you want to connect with other women who are doing great things. Dr. Jazz was on the show a couple of weeks ago, and she said it best. Listen, you don't have to worry about climbing your uh, climbing your mountain. No, climbing somebody else's mountain if you've already climbed your own. And I thought that was, I said that that is tweetable. Absolutely. <laughs> so, listen, when we sit here together, I'm not worried about all that Vicky is doing. I support her because I have my own visions. God has placed things in me to do, just as he has placed in you. Yes. So you want to connect with other powerful women. And what we do is we feed off of each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is trailblazing in her areas. I'm trailblazing in my areas. And we come together, talk about our ideas, talk about the best resources that we have, sharing resources. Yes. Uh, so that we can bring all of this together. Because at the end of the day, this is all about building the kingdom of God here on earth so that we can uh, become our best selves. So we have like a minute or two. So, sister, (laughs) give us something to leave with, okay? I didn't get to any of my announcements. That's fine. Listen, you all heard the announcements. Dr. Jazz is going to be at my church on Sunday, Greater Mount Calvary, 6 p.m. for Super Sunday. So come out and join us for that. So wrap us up and take us home. Absolutely. Well, I just want to say to those of you who are watching the amazing Nicole Mason show (laughs) that, you know, every moment, excuse me, every moment we live at choice. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like your life as it is, make a different decision. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do. Make a different choice right now. I like to encourage, especially women, since that's my audience, you know, 
make a decision, get a vision, and then make the choices necessary to create that life. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do is make Mm -hmm. a decision. I say that because there's a difference in wanting Mm -hmm. and then making the decision to do it. It's a different energy. It Mm -hmm. feels different. Mm -hmm. I can talk about I want to have all day long. But if I never make the choice, this is what I'm going to have. This is who I Mm -hmm. am. This is what I'm doing. The energy, the action, Mm -hmm. it feels different. So I just want to leave you today with make a choice. And if you don't like what you have, make a different choice. And you can live the life in reality that you see in your mind. That's awesome. Yeah, we always have options. She's so calm. (laughs) You know, I'm saying make a choice. Do something different. (laughs) She's so calm. Saying, make, make a, a choice. choice. <laughs> do something different. And I'm on the other side. Do something different. Make a choice. <laughs> we are so excited that you joined us today. Listen, this is how it flows, baby. You better get you some oil with your water and some water with your oil and some fire, fire with your whatever. Okay? <laughs> because it all works together for God's good and for his glory. Have so a join us. Day. Yes, join us next week for the Nicole Mason show because you never know who you going to meet on the Nicole Mason show. Thank you, Dr. Vicki. Thank love you, you, Nicole sister. Mason. I love you too. This is not the time to get distracted. This is not the time to go off course This is not the time to lose your focus Got a word to do for the Lord And you cannot afford to lose your way You come too far from where you started So please don't let the time you've so be wasted Everything you've ever dreamed, everything you prayed for.